My name is Lynn manuel Miranda, and I am the writer of Hamilton, and I also play Alexander Hamilton. Hi, I'm Thomas Kale. I play the character of the director of the movie of Hamilton. Hi, my name is Jasmine Cephas Jones, and I play Peggy Schuyler and Mariah Reynolds in Hamilton. Hi, my name is Renee Lee Goldsberry. I play Angelica Schuyler in Hamilton. And my name is Leslie Odom Jr. I play Aaron Burr in Hamilton. What's up, everybody? Christopher Jackson from Hamilton. Hi, my name is Oak. I played Hercules Mulligan and James Madison. What's up? I'm Anthony Ramos, and I played uh, John Lawrence and Philip Hamilton. Hello, I'm Philippa Sue, and I played Eliza Schuyler Hamilton. We're taking a BuzzFeed quiz together, and the headline of that quiz is, which Hamilton and Disney characters are you a perfect combo of? How would your friends describe you? Easygoing, passionate, adventurous, sarcastic, clumsy, goofy, generous, kind-hearted. Kind-hearted? All right, Tommy's choice is kind-hearted. I'm going to go with... Can I answer for you? Yes, you are my friend. What would you say? Passionate. Oh, thank you. I guess sarcastic. Is that true, Anthony and Pips? Is it sarcastic? thousand percent. I think you, Anthony, are like... There's a passionate and there's also a goofy, easygoing. I'll say, pa I'll say for me, passionate. Me, I would say. Generous. Just from whenever you're on stage in life, you're just so, you're such a. <laughs> I'm so generous, you guys. I'm gonna say passionate, just cause that covers a lot of bases. I'll say kind hearted. I think I'm easygoing, but I don't know that my friends would always agree with me. I'm thinking kind hearted would win. I would hope people would say I was generous, but I feel like if they were presented with this list, they would say easygoing first. Who would you choose as your sidekick? Mm -hmm. Abu from Aladdin? Flounder from The Little Mermaid? Olaf from Frozen, Tinkerbell from Peter Pan, Pumbaa from The Lion King, Mushu from Mulan, Pascal from Tangled or Piglet of the New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I love Mushu. I feel like Tinkerbell has some powers. Does she, does she, can she, can she bless you? Can Tinkerbell bless you? Can I get blessed if I pick Tinkerbell? And then you could always like put a little Dixie cup over her if it was little, you're trying to sleep. So I'm gonna do Tinkerbell. Like a sidekick, you gotta spend all day, every day with them. I'm gonna choose Abu. I think he'd be a really good friend. Loyal, you have a laugh with him, you have adventures with him, he's tough, he's gonna like help you in a fight. I'm gonna choose Abu. It's gotta be Mushu from Mulan because, you know, it's Mushu. Piglet, and that's 10 times out of 10. I think I'm going with Flounder. Flounder, yeah. God, you are so predictable. <laughs> I got Pumbaa, 100%. I'm gonna go with a boo because he has thumbs. <laughs> I think mine might be flounder. What is your favorite part of a story? The quirky characters, the fairy tale ending, the wild adventures, the soundtrack, the love interests, the life lessons they teach, the villain, or the setting. I like the wild adventures, right? I'm down for, you know, some swashbuckling. The quirky characters, was that an option? That was the first option. And I love I'm gonna that. I'm going to go with your, that. I'm going to go I with love that. that for your journey. I'm going to go with the soundtrack, or if you're a Broadway pedant, the original cast album. The soundtrack. Come on. I'm going to pick life lessons. I think I'm going to do the quirky characters. So you, you be playing the quirky characters. I understand. You're drawn yeah. to them. The adventures. I like all the stuff in the middle. Well, I'm the life lessons they teach. Surprise. What about the villain? It makes the story good. Yes. I mentioned that one. Which Disney princess do you vibe with most? Jasmine from Aladdin, Belle from Beauty and the Beast, Ariel from The Little Mermaid, Cinderella from Cinderella, Tiana from The Princess and the Frog, Pocahontas from Pocahontas, Moana from Moana, Mulan from Mulan. I'd have to go with Mulan because she's I mean, just about that life. 100%, I'm going with that. I love Moana though, she got the island vibes. You know, my family from Puerto Rico, even though that wasn't set in Puerto Rico, but it still just reminds me every time I watch that movie, it just it just reminds me of like my roots and you know, what, what Puerto Rico makes me feel like. What was the last one? Moana, from Moana. That's a, one of the Disney movies? Yes. Is it good? You saw it early and don't pretend you didn't. Ariel. You're going with Ariel. You actually make my choice easier because that's my default, but I'm gonna go with Moana. That's the movie you were telling me about that has like the girl, right? Mm -hmm. It's yes. like trying to leave the island? Yeah, yeah. How far she'll go? Tiana, Princess and the Frog. I mean, it's Tiana. I love Mulan. She's courageous. She did not want her dad to fight in that war. 
So she escaped, she chopped her hair off, she fought, she's amazing. I seem to remember that in the end of Aladdin, Jasmine is not a princess, she is the emperor. And this world needs to see some women ruling. We need to understand, we need to be okay, we need to recognize that until uh -huh. we can see leadership coming from women, we might not have the change that we want. Uh huh. I'm going to pick Jasmine from Aladdin. I'm choosing Tiana, man. I spent I spent some time in New Orleans at the top of this year. They're they're just I think they're my favorite people in this country. Like you know, I, oh shoot, I'm from Philly. I love ah. Philly. Uh, you know, I love everybody. But there's really something special. There's something special about the, the accent. There's something special about the food and the way of life in New Orleans. I, I was I, I fell in love a little bit. So I'm choosing Tiana. Pick a song for karaoke. Hey ya, Outcast. Single Ladies, Beyonce. No Scrubs, TLC. Toxic, Britney Spears. We Belong Together, Mariah Carey. Bye Bye Bye, NSYNC. Rolling in the Deep, Adele, or I Want to Dance with Somebody, Whitney Houston. I didn't hear anything after No Scrubs. Oh dear. Toxic, Britney Spears. We Belong Together, Oh no, Mariah no, meaning like once you said No Scrubs. I oh, was you were done. That's my choice. <laughs> For just the fact that there's a 2-4 bar in the middle of a 4-4 song, I'm picking Hey Ya by Outkast. It's gotta be Hey Ya, right? Gotta love the cast. Hey Ya, I'm doing Hey Ya, Outkast. 3000, AT Aliens, up in this. Toxic for me. Bye, 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 all day long, come on. You know what, I'm gonna pick Rolling in the Deep. I'd probably pick I Wanna Dance with Somebody, just so I could put the emphasis on somebody. You know, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. I like to go left a little bit in, in karaoke and sing a song that is unexpected. But out of these songs, I would probably sing a little Britney Spears song, you know, uh -huh. maybe I could do a little something with it. Now tell us your favorite Hamilton song. Is it Yorktown? Is it Wait For It? Is it Satisfied? Is it Guns and Ships? Is it Non-Stop? You'll be back. Is it Helpless? Or is it One Last Time? Mean, it's a mean question. Yo, Chris sings that one yes. last time in the movie, though. Y'all. Yes. Oh my gosh, he does. It's a new favorite because of he that. He sang that Crazy. song. Wait For It is one of my favorite, favorite songs. You sang that every night, man. I think it's such a beautiful song, so. No, I'm gonna choose the nonstop. It's like, it's a jam, but it, there's also storytelling in it. I love that it involves everybody. Like, I love everybody's piece in it. Wait For It. Wait For It. Yeah, wait for it, hands down. That's the banger, that's the banger on the album. I think we all know where we're going with that one, right? One last time. I could pick any of these on any given day, but today I will pick Wait For It. Satisfied. Finally, which character would you trust with a secret? Aaron Burr, George Washington, Hercules Mulligan, Philip Hamilton, Angelica Schuyler, Eliza Hamilton, Peggy Schuyler, Alexander Hamilton. Eliza Schuyler, all day, every day. I have to agree with you. I, I try to be a contrarian, but I'm also going with Eliza. Probably going to pick Angelica Schuyler, because you know, she keeps secrets. I'd have to go with the spy, Hercules Mulligan. I think he could Ooh. keep secrets. I would trust Angelica Schuyler. I would trust Burr. Like, my I man don't that. talk barely. I mean, he talks himself only. I would do Hercules Mulligan, because he was a spy on the inside. I'm, I was going to pick, pick Eliza but I'm gonna pick Peggy. I feel like all these people have snitching tendencies. Like, I feel <laughs> like- Oh, they do. You know what I mean? Like, cause they wrote letters to, they all were super gossipy. El Eliza might be the one. If I had to tell her a secret, Eliza would keep it. I'm choosing Eliza, boom. I got Thomas Jefferson and Flynn Rider from Tangled. <laughs> I got Aaron Burr and Aladdin from Aladdin. Hey! Hey, we are brother and sister, Leslie. I got- Thomas Jefferson and Flynn Rider from Tangled. Turns out, folks, that I got Angelica Schuyler and Megara from Hercules. I got uh, Angelica and Meg from Hercules. I got Thomas Jefferson and Flynn Rider from Tangled. I got Philip Hamilton. Skull! And, and Simba. That is so dope. That's a crazy combo. Hold yeah, up. they work so well together. You got Thomas Jefferson and Flynn Rider from Tangled. I think it's funny that we took different choices every time and still got the same results. What kind of test is this? Tommy. It's a very wide algorithm. We, we took different routes to the same place. I choose to celebrate of, that. 